Only one other time on this show have we ever reviewed Jersey Mike's. What makes a Jersey Mike's sub? It's the store cooked certified Angus roast beef and fresh baked bread. Deli cases loaded with meats and cheeses, sliced right in front of you and piled high on our giant sized rolls. They make them right in front of you. And now today, for the first time in years, we're headed back there. We're gonna go ahead and try their meatball sub. Ooh, that sounded tasty. We love meatball subs. We've heard amazing things about how we need to go to Jersey Mike's more. So we're doing a little, uh, uh. Two birds dead right now. Corey, they say it's a sub above. I'm trying to get a sub above. You better believe sub it. Sub above. You better Two believe meatball it. and cheese. I'm rosemary bread or something. Getting yeah. fancy Some today. Cheese there too. Huh? Jersey Mike's Sequoia jump cut. All right, back in the car. Let's go ahead. Let's analyze this. We've never had this. I've only had Jersey Mike's like twice in my life. Yeah. And one of them was on camera. Oh, yeah. So, and now my second out of three times on camera. Corey Wagner's second angle. All right, we got the sub here. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa, that bread is looking whoa tasty. So this must be their answer to Subway's whatever that you know. Subway has the cheese. Yeah, on top. their uh, Italian herbs and cheese bread. Yeah, so that's kind of you're seeing all the melted cheese on top of there, or wow. roasted cheese or whatever, and the rosemary herbs you can see speckled up in there too. Uh, and then when we open it up. Oh, big old fat uh, meatball. Wow. So like these are huge relative to Subway, which is the only show in town I currently know. Yeah. Um, th this is massive chunks of meatball. I kind of like it. And I like that they're cut instead of the balls. Sometimes the meatballs Me at Subway kind of roll around. Yeah. So I'm actually excited to see or try this. It's like a butcher's cut, like a rough cut, which yeah. I'm, I'm here for. Rough cut. Rough cut. You're a rough side of the other side of the tracks. <laughs> All right, Jersey Mike's. Meatball and cheese. Very excited. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Mostly bad, but on my first bite, but that'll happen. Mm -hmm. I still got a little bit of meatball, but I don't think I got the true flavor of it, you know? Yeah. I'm just gonna bite this bread. Mm -hmm. That was all bread. I'm gonna say this, there's a lot more bread here than there is ingredients inside this sandwich. Also, my bread is like still not like toasted enough. Yeah, well, Mine's like soft. Fl flimsy? I know that when I was opening it up mm -hmm. to show it off, you know? Mm -hmm. The taste of the meatballs and sauce is fantastic. That was my first big meatball bite, and mm -hmm. that was very good. You're 100% right. This is the answer to Subway's kind of like cheese bread game. Yep. They've been winning that war for a long time. Long time. I think Jersey, like wised up. Yeah, they put the gloves on, they're swinging. This is all in all very good. I like the sauce on it. Mm -hmm. The cheese is good. The meatballs are good. Does it seem to you like a wider bread? It does seem wider. Look at that. I mean, that is a chunk of meatball. And the meatball is actually, I thought it wasn't going to move around as much. It actually is moving around quite a bit. It's yeah. a little hard to get a full bite on it. But at the end, that happens on Subway too. And then at the end, you got nothing but a bunch of meatball bites. Right. So, you know, it, it, it ends up working out. This is like a messy sandwich too. Mm -hmm. you know? Which I don't mind so much. No, when you're having a meatball sub, I know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah, right? I put the permission slip in, turned it in. I know the rodeo that I'm about to be a part of. I'm like gonna try this bread by itself. It just, they didn't toast it enough. For me personally. I agree. I think this bread could be like game changer level if this is nice and crispy. I like the flaky, I love flaky soft bread, but not on a sandwich. Not on a meatball sandwich. I want it to be that crisp, that crunch. Oh, that, wow. Mm. That bread by itself is good. It is good. All the ingredients taste fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's just constructing this from like a chain level where you're churning these out. There weren't a lot of people in there. I would have waited a little bit longer to get it crispy, you know? But man, the flavor of that sauce is great. The way the cheese is mixing in. Definitely good flavor. I thought that they were doing some things that was gonna make this easier to eat than Subway's. Me too. Not the case. Not the case at all. But that just puts it on the level playing field. That doesn't necessarily mean it's worse than Subway's. You know, I, th I still think it's a very good sandwich. I think it's the ingredients are just as good, if not better. Yeah. All in all, I'm pretty impressed. This is definitely a get rather than a pass it up. Yeah, I would say so. I was kind of doing, when I was eating this, I live kind of close to a subway. You do? Mm -hmm. You live very close. And I'm not too far from this. I was kind of thinking in my head, every now and again I'll get a hankering specifically for meatball subs. Wow, oh, okay. I do really, really, really love meatball subs. I mean, they're fantastic. They're so good. And 
I was kind of like using this situation. I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna see if maybe next time I want to meet Ball Sub, I'm gonna come down to Jersey Mike's mm -hmm. over Subway. And honestly, I think I will. Oh yeah, I would too. I would. I completely agree with you. Subway's is still great. I still love it. This has its things that um, kind of I think they could improve upon. Yeah. But at the same time. I still, at the end of the day, think that I like this a, a little bit better than I like the uh, Subway version. I agree. And I just got some of my pants, and I'm not even bummed about it. I'm not even mad about it. No. It's a nice addition to your pants. It is. It's Oh, it's perfect, too. A grease spot right where I, my, you know, you know. But overall, man, for a Thursday in Chicago, the best city in the world, trying some things that you guys can also get. Because a lot of times, like yesterday, we did local stuff, and you can't get that. That you can get. I just noticed. How much noise I was making. You were trying to make that I sentence. thought you were doing it purposely. I, just, I was like, then, Corey, put it down. You're being obnoxious. I was like, there's no way he's doing that accidentally. It sounded like you were in a competition of making noise with a bag, yeah. and you won for the I might as well just had a kazoo. <laughs> All right, we've had good local meatball subs. We've had now chain meatball subs. But before we rate it, let's do a shout out. Shoot sure shout out, shoot sure shout out, shoot sure shout out. Look at that. So if you go on number 6 with cheese.com, That's right. We got a number of shirts that if you buy, you support the show. And you look great. We got good Bella and Canvas shirts with great ink that's not going to come off in the washer or the dryer. This thing's been in the washer and dryer a hundreds of times. Of time. Don't you worry. It's going to stand up. Yep. This is the original one from years ago. So this is the jump cut shirt. So we're going to go ahead and shout out a couple people that have bought merch off the site. Merch shout out number one, Mr. Joe Norsco. <laughs> Woo! Absolutely. Yes, he lives in Tennessee. We love Tennessee, and we love Joe. And also, he bought the sunglasses. And Tennessee can get a little sunny, and he's gonna be okay because he's gonna go ahead and throw those babies on and be all set. Thank you, Joe. Sure, shout out number two goes to Ryan Lingenfeld. Dude. Woo! Also bought himself some sunglasses. Yes. Shout out to Strongsville, Ohio. Keep being you. Keep keeping the sun out of your eyes. We respect it. Number six with cheese.com to get yourself something off the store. We say your name. No matter what you buy, we say it. You want your name said immediately? Buy more than one item. All right, Corey Wagner. Meatball saw from Jersey Mike's is in your tummy. Let's go ahead and do that thing that a lot of people do where they say how much they liked it by scoring it out of five. Out of five, the situation. Mike, the Ooh, situation. Yeah. From Jersey, out of five, the situations. How many situations to give the meatball and cheese on rosemary bread here at Jersey Mike's today, Corey Wagner? Man, uh, I thought that tasted really, really good. I thought it was uh, very, very messy and difficult to eat, which, like you, we both kind of touched on, like, that's kind of expected, so it's not the end of the world to have that. Yeah. That Whatever that cheese bread was that we had, there were a couple bites that, that I was really digging. That, that cheese yeah. was like... Like on Subways, I sometimes don't even, I can't even tell the difference. I know. But on that one, it was like really caked on and baked into there. I, I don't know. It just tasted a little bit better to, the, uh, to me. Um, all of a sudden, I think there are some improvements that can be made. I don't think it's the greatest sub sandwich in the world, but it was really good. I'm going to give that a 3.5. Ooh, very close to mine. Very close. Um, the bread should have been toasted longer, but the taste was amazing. When they ask you white wheat or rosemary herb or whatever, yeah, <laughs> don't get white or wheat. Yeah, you can get that anywhere. That's like child's play. Get that. That was great. I love that that was an option for bread. They don't try to overdo it with too many breads there. I kind of respect that. Me too. Sometimes with Subway, you're like, whoa, there's so many choices, and so many of them are average. The taste of the marinara sauce with those meatballs being chunked together, I liked that it. it was messy because a non-messy sub means there's not enough in there probably. Oh, that gets a good point. You might be getting slack and then you're mad. You spent seven, eight bucks on a sub and you're like, but I'm still like kind of wish I'm kind of hungry. You'll be full as F after that. I'm giving that a 3.75. Ooh, good score. Nice job, Jersey Mike. Those are all pretty, that's pretty good scores. I want to know, should we go to Jersey Mike's again? Uh, which sandwich should we get? We did the original Philly. Now we've done the meatball. If there's one that you really like, please comment it below. Yeah, I'd, like, I'd love I'd to, like know. to know people's yeah. favorite. We love suggestions, and uh, maybe we'll do Jersey Mike's here again uh, in the early part of 2020. Ooh. That can be a thing we do. Could be. Maybe. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday, for a brew and review episode. I think we're at Corey's, hanging out in the living room, slugging beers. So fun. Having some foods. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys, and being the best. Peace. Number6withcheese.com.